Hello, welcome to Learning Mold. Today we are thinking about division and we're thinking about a more formal pre-step to the long and the short division methods called chunking. I have already mentioned in previous videos that the term chunking probably was dropped around 2014 in the curriculum, but the term is still floating around. So I tend to still use it because I know teachers are still using it. And it's basically a pre-step to the short, um, the short bus stop method of um, short division. So in the previous video, um, we talked about the very basic method. Now I want to think about using bigger chunks and I want to think about when you have a remainder, what do you do? So we talked about um, chunking being repeated subtraction. We talked about it being estimating and then adjusting. And we talked about the fact that it really, really focuses on using the multiplication tables. Now we did talk about the idea of chunking, taking a big bit away rather than taking just take away four, take away four. So here I've got my calculation, which is 125 take away four. I could just do take away four, take away four, and then see how many times I did that. That would take a very long time. So what we try to do is to encourage children to take away chunks. Now we talked about multiples of 10 and in the last lesson we talked about doing four times 10 and taking it away. Here we can go for slightly bigger chunks, but I would still stick to the idea of using multiples of 10 because once they go into multiplying four times 11 or four times 12, of course they can do that, but then they're starting to add up doubles and, and start to get a bit, it gets a bit confusing, whereas the multiples are very, very clean and easy to use. So here I want to start with my 100. I want to know how many times four can go into 100. So I know that four times 10 is 40. Could I use a bigger chunk? So could I do four times 20? And I would be having this discussion with my child first, before even doing any writing, we'd be talking about, well, well what is four times 10? It's 40. So what's four times 20? Oh, that's double, so that's 80. Would the, that be easier to work with? Would it be a bigger chunk? Would it be able to help us make the calculation proceed a little bit more quickly? And of course, that lovely rich discussion will come through. So yes, I want to do four times 10. I've decided no is not a big enough chunk. Now I want to do four times 20. So I'm going to do 20 times four, which is 80. And I would encourage you to keep all your fours in the same column because it means that adding up later on, your children don't get confused. So either do 20 times four or four times 20, whatever way around you prefer to do it. So 20 times four is 80. This is where we do our taking away. So I'm going to do 125 take away 80. Now be very, very careful at this stage that you're showing your child to make sure they're lining up their columns because this is just pure subtraction. Five take away zero is five. Two take away eight, I can't do it, so I'm gonna to have to borrow. So 12 take away eight is four, and my answer is 45. So here I've now got 45 that I still need to divide. So I'm now asking my child again, is there a chunk that we could take away that's in our four times tables? Hopefully they will see that 40 there and they'll say, yes, what about 10 times four, which is 40. So we're taking away our 40. So five take away zero is zero is five, sorry. Four take away four is zero. I've now got five left over. Can I do another chunk? Well, yes. Can I get, can I divide five by four? Yes, I can. I can do one times four, which is four. Okay, take away my four, which leaves me with one. Can I share one between four? Can I share one between four people? Can I share one suite between four people? No. So that has to be left over. That's your remainder. That's something that needs to go into a different pot and be shared again later on. So that's where you'll be starting to think about the remainder. Once you get to that number that you can't share anymore or divide anymore, that is your remainder. So here you'll be recording your 20, your 10 and your one. You'll be adding those up to get 31. And so my answer is 125, divided by four equals 31, and don't forget that remainder, remainder one. So here you've got the idea of using bigger chunks and that introduction of remainders.